what's going on youtube this is your boy mr snowman tv listen are you guys tired of wearing over the ear headsets for your gaming experience open back closed back skinny back fat back don't matter what kind of back baby back ribs oh listen we're going to be talking about something different and that's iems which means in-ear monitors and that'll prevent you from getting the fucking dent in your head from over the ear headsets uh-huh Anyway, stick around. It's coming to you. Review three of them. Boy, howdy. <laughs> three budget IEMs, three reviews. Let's get it. The first one we're going to be talking about is the Linsal KZ KSM Pro X. Here it is. So this right here is the KSM Pro X's. It is the $23.99 IEM from Amazon. Links will be down below. It does come with extra tips for each headset. I believe there's two. It, they're solid black. You can get multiple colors. Um, the wires are pretty comfortable on your ears. This one does have one driver and one balanced aperture. And this is Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos can build worlds of sound to tell any story. It catches all the little details, puts you in the center of the action. It sounds just like the real world. and transports you to faraway lands. Go inside the story with Breakthrough Sound. Well, I will tell you that the $23 headphones, they sound pretty good. The bass is not super intense. So if you're into gaming with a lot of bass and you like a lot of bass, I mean, it'll do it, but it's not intense. Uh, the highs are not terrible. It is a little piercing at times with the real high-end stuff, but I will say that for $23, if you're wanting to get something cheap and try out, $23 is a great deal on Amazon. I'll throw the link down in the description below for every single headset that we're you know, reviewing. So The second one on the list that we're going to be reviewing is the same brand, Linsole, and it's the KZ KSN 10 Pro. And this is it. So this is the Linsole the ZS10 Pro. This headset is very comfortable as well. It is pretty much identical to the first one. Um, like I said, they do come with the comfortable wires that go around your ears. They are also solid black. They have multiple colors. This does uh, also come with the extra tips for each earbud. So that way you can get the correct ones that'll fit your ear. Um, there is gold, there is blue. This does have one single driver, the 10 millimeter driver for your lows. Also has four balanced apertures for your mids, your high mids, your highs. However they tuned it, this one is one driver and four balanced apertures. And it is $49.99 on Amazon. And this is Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos can build worlds of sound to tell any story. It catches all the little details. Puts you in the center of the action. It sounds just like the real world. And transports you to faraway lands. Go inside the story with Breakthrough Sound. Dolby Atmos. Well, I will say on the $49 headset made by the same company that made the $23 headset, they're both Kzar. Um, I'll get the full name of them, put them down in the description below. There is some differences with them. Um, for $49, I would say I didn't tell much of a difference between that and the $23. Not at all. Not even going to lie about that. So if you're going to go with that brand, I would suggest go with the 23. 
The 49 does have more BAs in it, which is a balanced aperture, and I'll explain that too in a bit. The third ones that we're going to be reviewing is going to be the Truthier X Critical Zero Dual Dynamic IEMs. And this is it. So this right here is the Zero, the Truth Ear X Critical Zero Dual Dynamic IEM. Oh yeah, it does have this anime style, comes with a little fake leather bag that holds and contains the headset. You can put the headset back in there if you're traveling or whatnot. This does come with quite a bit of different tips for the earbuds, as you can see, it has two small, one that has a bigger hole, smaller hole, mediums, the large, um, it does have the styrofoam ones as well. The cord on this one is a little bit different. It is more of a braided black cord. It's pretty comfortable, it's lightweight, doesn't hurt the ears. Um, very nice color as well. This is the blue edition of the Zeros. On an angle, the color looks purple. Straight ahead, it is blue. They do have a red version as well. The red version does have a higher frequency in the high end of the spectrum on the EQ side of things. So it can be a little piercing to the ears. This is a very nice headset. I've used all three of these during my gaming and I'm happy with every one of them. I'm gonna be discussing them at the end on my conclusion of what I thought, but these are also $49.99 on Amazon, and it has two drivers, a 10 millimeter and a 7.8. And this is Dolby Atmos. Dolby Atmos can build worlds of sound to tell any story. It catches all the little details. Puts you in the center of the action. Sounds just like the real world. And transports you to faraway lands. Go inside the story with breakthrough sound. Dolby Atmos. Well, on that note, let me just tell you that the, um, wow. Wow, what a difference between the three. I have the $23, the $49, and then the Truth Ears, which are $55. And there's major differences. We're gonna have that conclusion right now. So let's discuss the three budget IEMs that I have picked out for gaming, recommended by other people. I wanted to give them a shot myself and get you this video so you can make a decision too based on an opinion. And before I forget, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. Please consider subscribing and smashing that like button. Much love. So the first one we're going to be talking about is the Linsoul. L-I-N-S-O-U-L. Linsoul KZ KSN Pros. It's right here. Um, now, these IEMs have a main 10 millimeter driver for your sub bass and your low bass. Like your low bass and mid bass. And they also have one uh, balanced aperture, it's a BA. What a balanced aperture is, it's pretty much the same device that you'd see in a hearing aid. They're little bitty tiny electronic devices that bounce around on a magnet and produce a sound. So it has one, that's what the Pro has. One driver, one balanced aperture. The second one we're gonna be discussing is the same brand. It is the Linsoul KZ KSN10 Pro. It has one driver and four balanced apertures, which means it has one main driver that pushes the, the bass, the mid bass, the sub bass, and then it has four apertures that are tuned to different frequencies. You might have one tuned to like eight, 8K in the high end, 5K, maybe a 2K and a 1.5. I'm not sure how they tune it, but that's what the uh, apertures are. Different frequency responses so they don't clash with each other. So the third one we're gonna be discussing is the Truth Ear Critical Zero Dual Driver Dynamic IEMs, and it's the blue. They have a blue one and a red one. And this is it right here, by the way. Comes with a little design. This does come with a lot of stuff in the package, and the price is pretty good. So that's the blue one here. Very nice. So it's got dual drivers. It's got a 10 millimeter driver for your bass, your sub bass, mid bass, 
and then it has a 7.8 millimeter driver that produces your mids and highs so it doesn't have the apertures that can be set to separate frequencies you have one driver let's say like a car speaker a car stereo speaker is one main driver that pushes all of your sound right well that's what this is it's got one main driver for your bass, one smaller driver for your mids and highs, and the price is right. $49.99 for the uh, Truth Ear. For the the Pros, they were they were also $49, normally $59. That's the one that has the four apertures. And then we have the $23 Linsoles. And my conclusion to all of these three IEMs, between the Linsole $23 one that has one driver, one aperture, and the $49 Linsoles with one driver and four apertures, I did not, in my opinion, tell a difference in the sound quality. The staging and the differential of sounds in direction seemed identical as well. They weren't bad, they were pretty good. I would say that they, to me, because they are in your ears, are more immersive and it gives you that sound filled more than if you had like a gaming headset over your ears. I felt more into the game. I've been gaming with all three of these and it gets me more into the game. I can hear the sounds behind me, to the side, the fronts, and you know, everything. It sounds pretty good. Let's talk about the Truth Ears, the one that has the dual drivers. These are gonna be my number one choice. They deliver really good bass to where it actually rumble your ears, not in a bad way, in a good way. It's a good balanced bass. Gunfires, grenades, if you're playing Call of Duty, Thunder in another game, if you're playing like casual storyline games, it's gonna give you the bass. It's gonna give you that feel. The highs weren't too high either. I will say that the Linsoul's highs pierce, they were piercing. They had a little bit of piercing to them. It hurt my ears in a little, in, in a way that I didn't like. But the Truth Ear Critical Zero Blues, the highs and mids are not tuned too high and they just feel right. The sound stage and the dynamic of everything when I was listening to the Dolby Atmos, to me, in my opinion, had a better sound stage. I could tell where things were, I could feel where it was coming from more than with the Linsoles. Now the Linsoles are good. If you wanna drop $23, the $23, what is it, the X? They were great, they, they were amazing. I wouldn't spend another $25 for three more apertures that I did not hear a difference at all in. But if you're gonna spend $50, I would definitely recommend the Truth Ear Critical Zero Blues. They do have a red version. The red version, the highs are higher. So I've been told I don't have those to review, so I'm sorry. But the reds I've heard have a higher pitch in the um, treble. So it can lead to fatigue in the ears because it's more piercing. The blues are more balanced. I would say the blues are more for gaming, watching movies. They sound great in music but the reds are more for music listening and such, you know. So that's my opinion. You can choose what you want, but I would definitely 100% recommend the Truth Ear for gaming if you are a gamer. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. And if you use IEMs, let me know if there's something you've already used that's better than the Truth Ears or if you already have the Truth Ears and uh, give me your opinion on what you think or even the Linsoles. If you don't wanna leave a comment, hey, just leave an emoji because you know what? Engagement helps so I can get to a broader, a broader audience. Anyway, make sure you love yourself and I'll catch you on the next one, y'all.